Welcome back to Black News Tonight. After 50 years, the Africa Cup of Nations, the biennial soccer tournament that's hosted on the continent, is going to return to Cameroon as the Central African nation grapples with an ongoing conflict and the pandemic. Fans must provide proof of receiving negative COVID-19 test results no more than 24 hours before a match in order to attend Africa's top soccer tournament, which begins on Sunday. Meanwhile, officials are fortifying venues with security forces due to violence related to a five-year conflict between the French-speaking majority state and the smaller English-speaking region. Dr. Christopher Fomunio joined our show just a month ago to explain the fallout from Cameroon's Forgotten War. Can you talk about just how deep uh, this impact has been? Oh, it's, it's, it's extremely deep, and it's been worsening by the day. Because initially, in 2016, it was all about the grievances presented by the lawyers and the teachers. And then people looked at the government's response and the level of brutality and the thousands of Anglophones that have now been killed because of this conflict. Joining us now to talk about the Africa Cup of Nations and its impact on Cameroon is 2000 Olympic gold medalist, 2002 AFCON champion, and former member of the Cameroon national team, Patrick Sofo. Patrick, thank you so much for joining me on Black News tonight. What do you sense from the people of Cameroon as, as the nation's getting set to host the coveted Africa Cup of Nations in the middle of COVID-19 uh, conflict and, and other political concerns? Good evening. Thank you for having me. Uh, it's been very uh, talked about in the last few, uh, I would say the last two years. It's been the major uh, point of interest uh, with the people in Cameroon and all over Africa because tournament was supposed to be hosted uh, right before we had the pandemic in Cameroon. So uh, the country prepared uh, to host the tournament in the normal conditions. And then we found ourselves organizing the tournament uh, with the pandemic going on. but. Uh, the Ministry of Health in Cameroon have been doing uh, um, a lot of work, uh, talking to people about the, the pandemic itself. And then uh, I guess today people are informed, but they're still not taking the right measures uh, 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 in and uh, out of uh, the city. So uh, we'll see what's happened in the tournament. I think uh, they took measures to make sure that whoever is to be uh, going into any stadium would need to be vaccinated. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I think the vaccination and the negative COVID results within 24 hours will certainly do a lot uh, to reduce spread. I mean, there's no certainty when you have people, you're going to spread some COVID right now. That's just the reality. But they're taking as safe a measure as you can for a public event, it seems. Um, so there's the COVID piece, but there's also the political concerns. I mean, there's so much unrest in Cameroon right now. Um, how would how do you think that affects the playing of the games? Um, uh, being a Cameroonian, I know what has been happening in the last four or five years in, in uh, north or southwest regions in Cameroon. We had a lot of people losing their lives over some uh, political disputes. It's kind of uh, scary, but uh, I think in the last uh, month or so, the government have been uh, sending a lot of troops to be uh, to confine uh, the fight in that region. So. Uh, we cannot deny that the situation is a bit critical. Uh, it's still very, uh, uh, I mean, it's still very scary to go in that region. So um, I'm hopeful and I'm, I'm, I'm praying that uh, nothing happened to anyone in that place. With your home country hosting the Africa Cup for the first time in 50 years, what do you imagine is gonna be the response from fans uh, who come Sunday uh, when the top soccer tournament begins. I mean, they got to be excited. 50 years is a long time. Yeah, there's a lot of excitement. Uh, 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 not only we we made it last time, it was 1972, 50 years ago, but in the meantime, we won it uh, three or four times. So, and we have always won it out of, uh, out of home. So people are very, very excited and waiting for the tournament to happen at home. There's a lot of pressure, there's a lot of excitement, there's a lot of, uh, I mean, the mood is very festive in that in the other parts of the country. And uh, we are definitely looking forward to the tournament. Absolutely. Now, you know a lot about tournaments and you know a lot about competing. You 
uh, competed in the 2002 African Cup. You uh, won it all for Cameroon. You are a veteran of international competition, particularly with soccer. So what's it like doing that? I mean, you know, there's, there's, um, there's two factors. I mean, the first one being uh, the proudness, being proud to represent your country at the highest level. And the other side is uh, the pressure that comes with it. So I guess the players now, they're looking forward to the tournament, but also they have the pressure of winning the tournament, uh, of doing, playing the best possible for the people. And the pressure is enormous. So I just hope for them to go out there and enjoy themselves without thinking too much of the results so they can, uh, uh, they can make a good tournament. Mm. What stands out to you about soccer culture in Cameroon compared to the rest of the continent and maybe even the world? I mean, is there is our number one sport in in, in Cameroon? Uh, um, I mean, in every corner of every street, you'll find kids playing playing soccer. You'll find kids enjoying themselves. So it's just natural for us to be. Uh, to be so fond of it so um i think uh, is the is i mean today is like the cameroon will be the make of soccer for one month and the people will be very very happy so we are very very much uh into it and is our king element our is our always is our main sport wow uh, are you feeling optimistic you feeling confident as we go into the tournament you say it's the number one sport you know do you think you can win it all Oh, even though it's been played in Cameroon, I'm a bit skeptical <laughs> because uh, there's so many good teams <laughs> at the tournament. Uh, I hope we do good, uh, at least reach the, let the later stages. But uh, my favorites would be uh, Egypt or Senegal. Uh, Algeria also, uh, Sen also is the, the holder, is also a very, very good team, yes. Algeria, uh, Senegal, Egypt, they all are front runners. But I'm going to keep my uh, my fingers crossed for Cameroon. Uh, my buddy Joel Embiid plays basketball uh, for, for my city here in the States. So I, I'm a Cameroon fan right now. So I'm rooting for y'all against all the odds. Anyway, Patrick, thank you so much for joining me on Black News tonight. I appreciate it.